What's up guys? We are going to the March of Degradation for an all mission clear. Uh, level 3. I thought there were going to be 4 levels so I cleared level 3 last night. Not realizing that that was the last fight for this trial. But anyway, uh, yeah. It's no items, no continues, no KOs. It's a human boss uses, um, if the wiki's right, non-elemental, single target, physical, that can be provoked and evaded, and everything else is dark damage. So as long as you have dark resist, you shouldn't take any damage, um, and a provoke evader. There's some poison in there, but we we don't really care about it. So, um, but yeah. He's got like 35 billion HP. It's kind of unfortunate because Yuffie's, uh, last night when I did this without even, I don't think I even had an optimal setup, her, the cap on her shifted LB was hitting the damage cap. So if anything, we might be slowed down just by that limitation, but hopefully not. I kind of lined out a little better rotation, so we might do... A little more just with Tsukiko's LBs, but we're not taking a friend. So, oh, and the boss is neutral to, I believe, fire, lightning, wind, earth, and light, and then resistant to everything else. So, uh, we're just going with an earth team, and we're not even using Sylvie's 100% earth amp, honestly. Um, we're just relying on Tsukiko her imbue and buff on everyone, and then Yuffie's personal amp, so, um, yeah, yeah, that's, that's pretty much it, so, Sylvie is our provoke evader, uh, trolled mend hair cuff, if you have it, obsidian bracer, and some dark resist, she just, everyone needs 20, there are no imperils, and then shift form, basically the same build, just passive provoke evade with some dark resist. Tsukiko, uh, she's got some dark resist from the Esper she's on. Uh, so pretty much naked in the base form. Shift form, just max LB. Egg, yeah, max LB, max Evo, max Esper damage. And there's all of that on her. Dark Reigns card. This is probably way overboard, honestly, I'm sure. But, uh, yeah, anyway. So, Yuffie, uh, base form, max LB against humans. She's got uh, Cloud Strife's vision card. And she's getting some dark resist from Anima. I think she has some, well, some from Hateful Agent. Some innately, probably. And then shift form, basically. Well, the exact same build. So, max LB against uh, humans. Uh, Tulian. It's got Vidar for the 160 Earth Imperil and 89% defense break. Titus's garb to help his LB. He's max LB against humans. Some chain cap up. So there we go. And just a strong vision card. Then Charlotte Faisalus just here for some tag chaining uh, and some mana reduction and dark resist. Same thing in both forms. And that's basically just so that we have someone to cap Yuffie's LB on turn one. Uh, don't need Sylvie on an Esper. Don't need them on an Esper. So the boss has a four turn rotation. Like I said, it's just single target, non-elemental physical that can be provoke evaded and then everything else is dark and there's some poison in there and it's a four turn rotation I believe and I want to say he dispels his debuffs on as the last action on the last turn so if you have to push beyond uh, turn four you can just kind of 
repeat the rotation. Uh, so there's no turn limit even. So you could just keep some rotation going in perpetuity, but we're going for a, uh, you know, shorter clear. So we get into it. Okay, so we turn one, Sylvie is gonna put up Dark Resist, uh, Poison Resist, and an Attack Buff. Tsukiko is going to Rod Imperil, put up the Earth Imperil field, and then Earth Imbue on everyone. Tulian is going to just do full breakdown, Yord kicks, and I guess whatever else. Uh, his Grandis. Yuffie is going to base form LB, put up the weapon in peril. Then Charlotte Faisalus are going to just tag chain in the shift form. So. We'll send Yuffie, wait a couple seconds, and then send Charlotte Faisalus. Okay. Ooh. Is she not full evasion, or is there some accuracy? Don't know. Anyway, regardless, uh, we're going to shift and do her shifted LB. Tsukiko so can just shift it LB this turn. Yuffie is going to shift. And she's just going to do all her grandises, uh, both of her grandises, and then her uh, LB mod. Charlotte Faisalus can triple bolting strike, and Tulian can LB. So we'll send Tsukiko, wait a sec, and then send the chainers. So this turn we're going to go to the base form with Sylvie and I know it seems, like I said, uh, Yuffie was hitting the damage cap on my test run, but all her hits before that final cap, I guess, we could boost up. So we'll just put Human Killer on Yuffie from Sylvie. Tulian can triple bolting strike. We will triple bolting strike with... Charlotte Faisalus. Actually, let's tag chain with them. Tsukiko can triple bolting strike. And we can LB with Yuffie. So we can send Charlotte Faisalus to build the chain a little bit, send Tsukiko and Tulian, and then send Yuffie. I think Yuffie's uh, shifted tag chain LB is a little slow, so we'll probably just send her right after Tulian and uh, Tsukiko. And this is probably going to finish the boss off. Yeah. So, anyway, uh, yeah, we did pretty decent chunk of damage there. If you had an EX3 tool in, you could always do his SLB there. It looked like he actually hit a little hard on turn two there. Uh... Or maybe not. But anyway, there it is. I mean, pretty, you know, like I said, pretty easy clear just with some poison resist, physical evasion on your provoker, and then dark resist on everyone. You can either gear for dark resist or buff it. I am kind of curious to see, though, on Sylvie what happened 
with her taking a hit. Oh, yeah, she's not full evasion in the base form. That must be it. So, so gear her for evasion <laughs> in the base form. But anyway, yeah, it should be pretty simple, clear. And there's no turn limit, like I said. So just dark resist, passive provoke evade, and poison resist. And you can, you know, just chain all day and, you know, get your mission. So anyway, thanks for watching. Hope it helped. Catch you later.